All right, so let's make this infinity cross. Let's go to file new. Then let's go to the right view. Let's go to the ellipse tool. You want to start from zero, enter. Then you want to put in a value of three, enter. Hold shift, drag it out to the right and click. Then go up 1.75 and right click. Then select the curve. Pick the point of the green arrow, put in a value of 4, and move it over to the right by 4. Then select the curve, go to split, using a point, pick that node, pick that node, enter, and delete the front part. Then let's go to the top view, select that curve. Go to Transform, Array, Polar, you want to go around 0, Enter, you want to put 4, Enter, Enter, and Enter again. All right. So, let's go to Curve, Blend Curves, Adjustable Blend Curve. You want to pick the top of that curve and the bottom of that curve there. Make sure that your attangency is set. Trim and join. OK. Hit spacebar to repeat that command. Pick the top of that, the bottom of that. OK. Hit spacebar again. Pick the top of that, the bottom of that. OK. And last of all, oh, by the way, make sure record history is off. And then do the last one there and there. OK. Then extend the bottom part of the cross. Grab those two nodes. Okay, and now you want to pipe this. So let's go to pipe, type in pipe, P R P E, enter. Make sure that fit rail by default is set to no. Make sure it's on yes. But let me show you if you leave it on no, what actually happens. Type in 1.75, enter, and enter again. You see the line folds over, a twist on itself. Let's delete that. Let's bring up pipe again. And this time, make fit rail yes. You go enter, enter, and there you go. All right, I'm just going to move this to the gold layer. Let's go to my rendered view. And there we have a infinity cross. Thank you.